so program B right now is running. Students working for the city of Vancouver check on sprinkler systems, making sure lawns won't be watered and that trees and shrubs only get water for short periods of time in the morning. Outdoor water use is the biggest jump in water use in the dry season and irrigation systems, often people set them and forget them. The city is urging people to accept their brown lawns or risk a $500 fine. We also have an enforcement program where we have three bylaw officers who are actively patrolling uh, seven day a week shifts. 23 of 34 water basins in BC are in a level four or five drought and the situation is getting worse. The reservoirs that feed Metro Vancouver are in normal range right now, but water use has been up 20% this year because it's been so hot. We're looking forward to make sure that we don't run into some kind of a hazard where we simply don't have enough water to for the drinking, the cooking, and uh, the cleaning. Streams are dry, just like our forests. This expert says it's possible more restrictions could be needed down the road if people don't conserve. We really do need to slow the rate of, of depletion of the reservoirs, and the only way we can really do that is to do things individually, like perhaps shorter showers, don't flush the toilet as often. This fair celebrates agriculture in BC, an industry suffering right now. Climate change seems to be a very, very real thing. This dairy farmer says irrigation is helping them have enough food for their herd right now, but she's worried about what's to come. Feed shortage is going to become an issue, which of course drives our costs up, which in turn will drive the price of our milk products up. And with no rain in the forecast, new restrictions will be in place for some time. Renee Filipponi, CBC News, Vancouver.